Okay, well, a little update. I reconfigured the breaker panel and ran the wire in through the back, which meant I had to extend the conduit on the outside and came straight through the wall right into the back of the breaker panel. As you can see, there's quite a few uh, runs of wire uh, run up to the panel now. Uh, I've been working at it. Um, yeah, let me go downstairs and I'll show you what I've been doing. I have run a dedicated wire for the refrigerator straight to the panel. And then I made the home run for this receptacle. And this one over here, which is mostly going to be for the uh, gas range, the computer lights, oven lights, and stuff like that. But those are together because those both count as kitchen counter um, receptacles. There's going to be a little bit of counter space here, and you know, the sink and everything's right here. Uh, Several breakers up there that are really expensive. I spent about $450 the other day just on circuit breakers because they are arc fault slash uh, ground fault uh, detectors. Uh, they're not cheap. They're almost 100 bucks a piece. I had to get a bunch of them. But uh, that's all recommended by the electrician who signed off on me at my inspection the other day. Uh, he uh, recommended some changes, uh, one of which was reconfiguring the... Uh, the uh, uh, um, the service wire coming into the panel because it needed to be conduit all the way to the panel so I went ahead and spent a day and took care of that uh, let's see refrigerator kitchen counter kitchen counter home run ready for receptacles uh, let's see here we have overhead light and fan for the bathroom wired in and the home run to the panel done uh, let's see what else. Oh, yeah, I forgot to cut this one off. But this is for the kitchen vanity. This is also on a arc slash ground fault detector, and that will be a vanity light. Uh, I just got to finish that up. I'm kind of beat. I've been working, punching a lot of holes, pulling a lot of wire, putting in a few staples here and there. Um, receptacles for the whole bedroom. That's the home run right here, and everything else is looped in. I did that a couple months ago. Uh, overhead light, it's going to be a ceiling fan, uh, home run, and the switch leg going overhead. I will get the box that will go right in between those two, so I'm going to be pretty much centered in the room. And if you recall, we got receptacles all the way around. But again, that was done in like July or August. Uh, still got to put some staples in. These lights for the closet have to come out here uh, inside uh, I can't remember exactly what the electrician was telling me or it was the great way to go, but we can't have these in here because, let's face it, there, and he's right, there's going to be a shelf there. Stuff's going to get piled up and you'll never, number one, the light's going to get blocked. And number two, if the lights stay on too long, you're going to wind up with a fire, which would not be a good thing. And like I told him, I want to die here, but I don't want the house to be the thing that kills me. Well, let's see what else. I'm going to have to move that box because uh, it was pointed out that we're going to have window trim there and that's going to interfere. So I think I can move it over to that other support stud and we should be okay. Uh, I've got a little bit of room so I can duck it down if I need to. I need to drop another receptacle in between the windows at least to uh, satisfy the code requirement. And I didn't know it, but you actually can put receptacles under windows. I thought that was a no-no. And uh, so I was avoiding doing that, but it can be done. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, that receptacle, the home run's already done. It's up to the panel. Uh, the receptacle that's going to go in there, I will just tap off of this one so I can punch through and just come over. Uh, and again, that's connected. Now, these are all looped uh, from the panel to this, uh, to there, to there. And that wire that goes up comes over and drops down to there. And that's the one wire that I had to run outside, which I still need to go out and staple. But there is a receptacle in between the windows. And I'm going to have to drop another window or receptacle in here somewhere. Probably we'll put it down below that window right in there. And then that'll be done. And then all I got to do is run a loop all the way over and come around the corner. Die, die, die. There we go. Come around the corner. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. And wire these 
two receptacles in, and that's basically for TV and internet stuff and and uh, well, entertainment system if we were going to bother with that. But that's pretty much the electrical, you know, like I said, those closet lights are going to have to get moved. I need to get that closet framed in. I haven't decided what I'm going to use for doors, either uh, bifold or sliders. And honestly, I think bifolds are going to be easier to do. Uh, we can still get mirrored bifolds and still have two sets of doors on either side. But uh, I've got the material. I just got to actually do that. I've got to get the rough dimensions for the framing, and then I can do that. But uh, anyway, this is an electrical update. I'm pretty happy. I've been uh, right at it today. Uh, let's see. I've got a light for uh, this is going to be a porch light switch and a three-way switch for an overhead, which I still got to drill that and the other end of the three-way. And this is probably going to be probably going to be the switch for the big fan that's going to be up above. I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. And I haven't decided what I'm going to use for ambient lighting out here in the area. We could just as easily go with lamps and um, oh, I don't know. We'll figure something out. Uh, maybe that'll just be uh, I can make it whatever I want it because it's I haven't done any wiring on it yet, but uh, maybe some wiring for the under the counter lights, something like that. But uh, anyway, I'll make it work. I'm going to stop babbling. I want to shut things down and give me some lunch and kick back in the rocks a little bit and, and uh, chill and dwell on the fact that life is amazingly awesome. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time.